all the best four-year-olds at the moment battled it out for the Open Derby final of the 2008 Metallic Cat Summer Spectacular. And the first to finish with a 2.28 was Lee Francois. Congratulations to you, Lee. What a final. Thank you. Thank you. You know, it's always a blessing to win something here. Uh, you know, you got your family here with you. They go through the hard times too. And uh, just feels good and it's great, you know, to ride a great horse. It's, you know, you, you, we grow up dreaming about these moments and uh, when we're kids and to have that kind of horse, uh, you know, it just, it makes all the hard times worth it. And just, we're just blessed family. Yeah, and I can tell it was the same for your wife because she was just, you know, <laughs> distraught in a sense you know in a good way because she was so behind this this horse and this win and tell me this was a reserve futurity champion just last year mm -hmm. what does it mean to to win on this horse here at the summer spectacular oh well it's great you know you you um you do good on a horse and you to to come back and repeat that is it's always hard it's a pressure and it's a struggle and uh, and you know, then you got to deal with the horse and um, trying to get him back to that level again. It's, it's, but it's, you know, it's just good horse uh, rebounds. I had some tough luck on, on him uh, after the fraternity, and it's just good to get him back 100%. Yeah, for sure. And tell us what your ride was like, because that horse just looks like it won't let a cow <laughs> beat it. Can you describe it for us and your, your three cows? I really can't. Uh, you know, it's kind of blurry. Uh, you know, uh, you know. I mean, I gotta thank my help, Bo and uh, Jesse, for the cow picking. They did an amazing job, as they always do. And uh, you know, they pointed them out, and I went and cut them, and uh, and just you know let him fly. And how would you say the horse has developed? What have you worked on since the maturity? Um, you know, I just he had a quarter crack after the maturity, and that that hindered us uh, a lot. So. Uh, uh, it was mainly just getting that healed up, and uh, I got to give Pete Mason props. He did a great job getting that horse healed up and uh, taking care of him. So we got that fixed, and uh, now he's back 100%. And now three times down to the herd in one set. How do you mentally prepare for that? It is a struggle. I know Holly. She was tired of putting up with me all day, but uh, you know, because he's just nerves and uh, trying to figure out how to, how to, how to handle it. Um, but you know, you just take it one run at a time, one cow at a time. And of course we had the Metallic Cat incentive, the added 100,000 for the highest score on a Metallic Cat. You had one. Yes. Tell us what was your strategy with that horse? Well, actually mine wasn't eligible. Oh. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, because it uh, didn't, didn't have a breeding? Right, we didn't have the breeding this year. Um, we bred to him, but it was a rebreed from last year. So. I, didn't, I wasn't too nervous about that and other than just getting a show. And then your final horse coming out, what was your plan there? Uh, just the same thing, just, well, after I showed the animal, was, after that it was just, you know, I was pretty relaxed and uh, just tried to go have fun and cut some good cows. Okay, what's the plans next for the animal? Um, I don't know. Well, I'm sure we'll be headed somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure where, though. Uh, he's feeling good and as long as he's healthy, we'll be going. Well, the crowd loved it and it was a fabulous run. Thanks for... Thanks for being here. No, thank you.